Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to evaluate some logarithmic expressions when we kind of just kind of using the properties of logarithms. And what I did here is actually, let me step out of the camera here real quick. Uh, what I did is I highlighted some very prop, um, common logarithmic properties that we're going to be using to help us evaluate these logarithmic expressions. Now, some of these you might be familiar with, some of these might be a little bit new. But using these properties is going to greatly help us evaluate logarithms. Because um, what we're going to do is, you know, we're going to what we're going to do, or what you've previously done, is you know learn how to evaluate logarithms. What exactly a logarithm means? Actually, you should already know that. Um, so, for instance, if I said, let's use, you know, what, let's use the basic one. If I said log base two of four, hopefully you understand that the answer to this is going to be two. And the reason being is because what the question is asking is two raised to what number gives you four? Well, we know the answer is going to be two, right? Well, again, if I write two raised to 2 equals, what does that equal? So again, I'm asking 2 raised to what number is equal to 2? Well, hopefully we understand that that number is going to be 1, right? Log base b of b is just equal to 1. Now, there's another thing you guys can think about. Any number you can always raise to the first power. So log base 2 of 2 to the first power, you could also think of that as equaling 1 from there. So let's go back to a step further. Let's go back. And what about if I wrote this as um, 2 raised to the fourth power. Now let's change this to a 3. Hmm. Let's see what this would be. Now, um, log base 2 of, oops. That's, now these aren't the same power, so that doesn't follow that rule, does it? So let's change this to 2. And now let's raise this to the third power. Okay, so 2 raised to um, 2 base 2 of 2 raised to the third power. Well, by using my previous logic of 2 base 2 of 2 equals 1 and up to 1, then therefore we could probably say that this is going to equal 3. Now, let's go ahead and verify our answer here. If I had 2 cubed, that's 8. So log base 2 of 8, right? That's really the same thing. Well, 2 raised to what number gives you 8? Well, 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, which is 3. So therefore, this, you can see now this rule is going to apply as well. So log base b of b raised to the power is going to just be equal to whatever that power. So the last property we're just going to look at is basically kind of like the um, exact opposite of this. If I have a base b and that's raised to my log base b of x, therefore, then that's just going to equal x. And again, we can just look at this. You know, just use some numbers as a property here. So let's use um, 2. Let's do log base 2 of, again, let's do 4. Now let's do 8. Again, that, that's fine. Let's use 8. Right? Now we know 2 raised to what power is, or um, 2 raised to what power gives you 8? That's 3. Or log base 2 of 8 is 3, right? Because 2 raised to what power gives you 8? That's 3. So in reality, that's going to be 2 to the third power, which is 8. Or based off of that logarithm, based on that rule, when we have 2 raised to the log base of 2, we know that the answer is going to be 8. So you can either look at, you know, the best thing to do is I want to just spend some time since these are going to not take that long. These are not going to take. I want to spend some time explaining you and showing you how these rules work. Now, let's get into some of these examples. So for the first example, we have log of 10. Now make sure when we see log of 10, we understand that that is log base 10 of 10. So therefore, I'm taking the log. I have the same base as what I'm evaluating the logarithm for. So therefore, by using this rule, I know my, that that is going to evaluate to equal 1. Then we introduce the natural logarithm, which is e. Is this the only one I did? No, I did. Yeah, OK. So when we have a natural logarithm e, remember that the base is e. So I have ln e of e. That, again, is going to be another example of 1. So we have log, natural log. And then for logarithm, I could choose really any base, right? So if I have log base 3 of 3, we know that answer is, again, going to equal 1. Again, the first three problems, all I did was use that rule. For the next two, or next four, I'm going to be using this rule. All right. So again, you can see here, this basically is the exact same thing. And even sometimes my 6's look like my b's. So we have log base 6 of 6 raised to the x. Well, like I showed you in that previous example, my answer is just going to be, my simplified answer is just going to be x. Over here, we have a base e. So that's ln base e of e. So therefore, we know we can just evaluate that as negative 4. Now in this case, we can get a little confusing here. Because over here, we have log base 2 of 32 equals x. Well, 2 and 32 are not the same. 
However, if I can rewrite 32 as a base of 2, then they are the same. Well, let's think about it. 2 squared is 4. 2 cubed is 8. 2 to the fourth is 16. And 2 to the fifth is 32. So guess what? I can rewrite 32 as log base 2 of 2 to the fifth power raised to the x. Right? Then by using my power rule, I can, use, I can multiply the x and the 5. So I have log base 2 of 2 to the 5x. Now you can see, now I can use my rule. And the two, log base 2 of 2 is just going to give me a final answer of 5x. So exact same thing happens here. I 3 and 81 are not the same. However, if you start writing out um, you know, 3 raised to a power, you have 9. 3 cubed is 27. 3 to the fourth power is 81. Hmm. OK, so therefore I can write this as log base 3 of 3 to the fourth raised to the negative x. Then again, simplifying this, I have log base 3 of 3 to the negative 4x. Well, now, again, the log base 3 of 3 follows this rule. There's going to divide out. So therefore, you're just left with a negative 4x. Hopefully that doesn't, hopefully that still shows up on the video, negative 4x over there. Um, over here, so now the last examples, we're just going to be using this rule, which I explained the last. So if I have e base to the ln of e, just remember that e is in that base. So e raised to the ln of e, that's just going to equal 4. Over here, I have 7 raised to the log base of 7x. That's just going to equal x. And the last example, I wanted to have a little fun, because um, I know usually people will look at this and be like, oh god, look at that. Crazy. I don't know how to do this. But again, if you just follow the rules, 10 raised to the log base of 10, 10 raised to the log base of 10 just equals whatever's, whatever you're evaluating for. So therefore, my answer is just 7x squared minus 3x plus 1. <coughs> Excuse me. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you evaluate uh, logarithms by using the properties of logs. Thanks.